So are you currently experiencing this PC problem? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about something really important helping you solve your PC problems more effectively. So, let's go! So, every day I receive tons of comments asking for help with various PC issues and I'm always happy to help. But there's a common trend that I've noticed. Many of you ask for solution without explaining how the problem started or what you've tried so far. Understanding the background of the issue is crucial for finding the right fix. Think of it as going to the doctor. You wouldn't say that you feel sick without giving any details, right? You describe the symptoms, how long you have them, and anything unusual you might have noticed. So to help me help you better, here are a few tips on what information to include when you ask about PC problems. Number 1. Describe the issue clearly. What's happening? Is your PC not booting, freezing, crashing, or showing error messages? Be as specific as possible. But please don't start writing a novel in the comments. Just let me know how the PC problem started. Number 2. Mention any recent changes. So did you install new software, update drivers, or add new hardware recently? Even small changes can have big impacts, so let me know about these things as well. Number 3. What have you tried so far? Let me know what troubleshooting steps you've already taken. Did you restart the PC, check the connections, or run any diagnostic or cleared CMOS or anything else? In this way, I won't let you repeat the same steps you've already taken. Number 4. Provide the PC specification. Share your PC specs if you can. Knowing the hardware can help diagnose the issue faster. For example, details such as the CPU, GPU, RAM, and the specifics about the operating system, like whether if this is Windows 10 or Windows 11, and also if it is a retail, OEM, or volume license are often crucial. By the way, I asked about the license type is because it helps me determine if the one who's making the comment is using a legitimate license. Because counterfeit licenses can frequently lead to significant PC issues so remember that. Number 5. Context If the problem happens under specific conditions like while you are gaming, using a particular program, or after a power outage, mention that too. I've already created several PC fixing videos covering most common issues nowadays, so if your problem relates to one of those videos, i likely just send you a link to save time explaining in the comments. Anyway, here's an example of a well-detailed comment, simple and easy, you can pause the video to take a good look at it. With this information, I can give you much more accurate advice saving us both time and frustration. By the way, if you are experiencing this exact same PC problem, then check out the video link at the top right side corner of your screen. So, the next time you leave a comment asking for help, remember these tips. It'll make the troubleshooting process much more easier for everyone. You may also want to check the end screen videos that might help you with your PC problems today. So that's it guys, once again this is Mac, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.